Welcome to the Central Stadium in Kiev as the teams take the field on a very pleasant evening here in the Ukraine with a wind blowing across the field but no problems underfoot the pitch in immaculate condition. The sides taking the field together and both sides have had one or two problems to resolve. In Rangers case mainly tactical ones but the Russians have been concerned by the loss of a couple of key players. Chris Woods exchanging gifts with Viktor Chanov, the Kiev goalkeeper. And in fact, all the Russian players going to make presentations to the Rangers players. And the noise you hear, of course, all coming from the Ukrainian fans. Very, very few Scots inside the stadium. So the flowers dispatched by Graham Sinis to the subs bench. And I wonder if that pleasantry will be returned at Ibrox in two weeks' time. A very quiet stadium here with 100,000 people inside the ground. Very, very little noise. The teams line up. Dynamo Kiev have no Zavarov and no Belenov. So they brought Yaramchuk in to number nine. But for Rangers, the change in their lineup involves no Robert Fleck, no Trevor Francis. They brought in John McGregor and Avi Cohn to stiffen the midfield. So a five-man midfield with just McCoy up front. The referee tonight is Franz Verar from Austria. There's Oleg Blokin, number 11, who gets the game underway with Yevtushenko. And it's Dynamo Kiev, playing from right to left, who get the game underway as the noise builds up from the Russian fans. Yamyarenko playing it forward, the captain. There's Graham Roberts going across. So a solitary task up front tonight for Ali McCoy for Rangers. There's the Dynamo captain, Yamyarenko, captain of club and country. There's McCoy to the layoff, Kuznetsov wins it again. A good challenge though by Cohen. Durant holding off Kuznetsov. McCoy is trying to find Durant with that pass inside, but it's collected by Demyanenko at the back for Dynamo. Chanov plays it out. This is Besanov. Now Mikhailichenko. Yakovenko. Lock in. Yevtushenko's through the middle. Butcher goes across. And good covering play by the Rangers captain, Terry Butcher. But a promising build up that with Yevtushenko finding a gap at the edge of the box going through. Butcher came across to make clearance. Damianenko will take the corner kick. Everyone back for Rangers except McCoist. Damianenko to the near post. And that was well covered by Jimmy Phillips at the near post area. Not once but twice. He had to concede another corner kick. Damianenko right footed again. Headed by Mikhailchenko and it was taken easily by Woods. The big number eight got up well though and he was unchallenged when he directed the header on goal. Because that's off's header. A push in the back on Mikhailchenko by Derek Ferguson. Free kick to Dynamo. Altashar starts a slow build up once again. There's no question though in the early stages that Rangers have succeeded in taking all the pace out of the Dynamo Kia build up. That was a deliberate ploy and there's a foul on Kuznet on McCoy by Kuznetsov. Well, Kuznetsov is renowned for taking no prisoners and McCoy felt that all right. Phil Bosma coming on to administer the treatment to the Rangers centre forward. Koist is back on his feet. Durant has gone forward for Rangers. That's gone behind McCoist. Damianenko again. Mikhailchenko. Long pass for 
Williams challenging his misjudged dad. Here's trouble for Rangers. Adam Chuk coming in and the final cross not good enough, but the Rangers not yet over. Collected by Rats. Now Yakovenko. Roberts with the header. Only as far as Besson off. Fine effort by Besson off. Woods going across the cover, but that was dangerous for Rangers. All sparked off by that move, building up on the right, when Jimmy Phillips misjudged the challenge on Yaramchuk. Indeed, the cross from Yaramchuk could have been better, as Rangers more problems. As it was worked out, it was Besson off in the end, who rifled the shot wide. Sunis, Butcher, careless one from Butcher, picked up by Yaramchuk. Just blocking. Rats gets away from Ferguson and from Sunis. Still Rats. Away from Butcher. And Ferguson went all the way back to make that clearing header. Mikhailchenko has possession though for Dynamo. Butcher's the tackle. Here's Ferguson. No McGregor. McCoy sets off again. Willing as ever. He's away from Kuznetsov. Here's McCoy to the box, no support, he'll have to do it by himself. Harry McCoy and Chanoff got down to block the shot. Frustration for McCoy, but that was superb play from the striker. Chanoff gesticulating to his defence in no one. That was brilliant play from McCoy coming in the shot in the end, blocked by the Russian keeper. Shaw once more. Switching play to the left to Demyanenko. Mikhailichenko. Yakovenko. Roberts with the header. Here's Durant. Supported immediately by Sunis. Here's McCoyst. Taken on the back again by Kuznetsov. The referee will his play on this time. McCoyst is still on the ground as Durant makes the tackle. This time the referee from Austria gives a free kick to Dynamo Kiev. McCoy is still on the ground, but the referee will not allow the play to stop at the moment. There's McCoy. Taken from the back once again by Oleg Kuznetsov. There was no foul given. And Phil Bosma is being asked to take McCoy off the field. McCoy is clearly in a lot of pain. So here's the tackle which inflicted that damage on McCoy. Well, that certainly looked to me to be a clear foul. The referee fans, Borer, certainly popular enough with the Russian fans, but no question there that McCoy seemed to be very hard done by. Besson off. As soon as collides with McGregor, Lekovenko playing it through, and no chance at all for Plokin. And all that Plokin made his disgust clear as far as that pass was concerned. The Woods with a long ball aimed for McCoy, because Netsov wins it. Cohen inside, there's McGregor. Is Netsov beaten by McCoy. There's a great chance for Rangers. The side netting from McGregor. He was set up by Durant. And what an opportunity that was. John McGregor supporting the attack. It was McCoy who did the good work initially with that head flick on. Then Durant guiding the ball into the path of John McGregor on his weaker foot, the right, slicing the shot against the stanchion on the outside. Certainly great encouragement for Rangers so far with two great attempts on goal. The first from McCoy, the second from McGregor. And that certainly has silenced the Russian crowd once again. Yevtushenko forced to come deep to become involved in the play. Yaramchuk. Hopeful one better cross which Ferguson wins. Yakovenko. Plays it wide again. 
Besson off to Yakovenko. He wasn't picked up making that run. In the middle, Roberts couldn't make it, but Nickel did. Here's Derek Ferguson. Blocking sends it back. Here's Demianenko with rats on the outside. And the play from Dynamo Kiev. The shot for the first time. And blocked to allow rats to accept the throw. Demianenko holding on. Real Madrid well, holding on Durant. Here's Demianenko. Oh, and bounced off quickly away from Chris Woods. The referee has given a corner kick, so Woods going to touch. The shot certainly wasn't hit with very much power. We'll see this as the ball is played inside from Yaremchuk. Shot to Demianenko. Hit it with his right foot, not very powerfully. And Woods appeared to dive a shade early, deceived by the lack of pace in the shot, I think. Demianenko coming very close indeed for Dynamo. Here's the corner kick. In swinger, Woods under pressure, and he reacted well as Mikhailchenko came in. Another one for Durant to chase. Good tackle. There's Geramchuk, fouled from the back by Ferguson. Besson off, plays it short. Here's Mikhailichenko. Good piece of running from Yevtushenko. Here's Rats getting in the cross first time, but the flag was up on the near side. Well, that's all cosmetic. Yakovenko showing his finishing ability, but all to no avail. An offside flag was up, and the free kick's been given to Rangers. Ball played forward, catching Rats offside. A couple of yards in it, I think. And Roots had stopped playing at this point as Yakovenko eased the ball into the net. So it looks as though Rangers have survived the first half. 45 minutes are over. We're into time added on for that brief stoppage to give treatment to Ali McCoist. The Austrian referee checking with his linesman, and there goes the half time whistle. An excellent first 45 minutes from Rangers. They've tied this. Mikhailchenko. That's cut off by Roberts for Sunis. Tried to play that beyond Kuznetsov for McCoy, but it's won by the blonde centre back. And here's Demyanenko. Good header on from the to the Archuk. A great chance now for Dynamo Kiev. And it was well blocked by Phillips. He did well, standing his ground there, blocking the cross. Rangers for just a second appeared to be exposed. Good play from Dynamo Kiev and from Veselov in particular. This is Mikhailchenko. Coming inside, robbed easily by Sunes and McCoy sprints off on the right. All on his own for the moment. He may try it by himself. Running into Kuznetsov. Yaramchuk. Yakovenko. Yakovenko being allowed to come a long way forward. He's still in possession. No block in. A deep cross, too deep for Rats. Rangers trying to regain their poise now, getting men back. Here's Demyanenko. Powerful enough, but well off target. With Rats indeed with the final shot. Playing it back into the path of the oncoming player now. And that's well wide of Wood's right hand post. Right in the middle of the field with Besson off. Good running by Besanov. Yevtushenko. Yakovenko. Straining forward, playing in a good cross. There's Roberts. Fine defensive header by Graham Roberts. He got up behind Terry Butcher to make that clearance. Well, that's been a feature of the Rangers play in the centre of defence. Butcher and Roberts covering each other superbly. 
And the war building up from the Russian fans. They're sensing some prospect of a breakthrough. Ferguson on the near post. Roberts waits to attack the ball. Played in by Rats. That was Butcher's challenge. Phillips did make it a very good clearance. There's Rats. Engineering an angle for himself. The Rangers defence very diligent and neat closing down. There's Ferguson. Loose pass forward. Yaramchuk goes forward. Still Yaramchuk. Tackled firmly by McGregor. Suddenly the pace of the play has been lifted by the Russians. There's Yaramchuk. Jimmy Nichols header. Here's block in. Now Rats making for the byline. Good play from Dynamo Kiev. The cross again too long. It's a let off for Rangers. Played forward by McGregor. McCoy's trying to back kill it. Yakovenko plays it inside. Here's Besanov. Now Mikhailichenko. Suddenly the Russians have come to life. There's Yevtushenko going up, and he's again well covered by Robert and Phillips. And still approaching the hour mark, and here's the first substitution of the match. Yevtushenko is coming off, and Yevseyev is coming on. Now that is very interesting indeed, because...